my chest, y'all. The only family I have down here is my cosmic family. The souls that understand the mission, the souls that understand the fight, the souls that understand who the oppressors are. You feel me? That's real. So we gonna talk about it. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the chaos energy down until we get through the through the proceedings. You get what I'm saying? We gonna get it out though. One thing about me, I'm gonna always keep a real love of rich with y'all. You feel me? I wouldn't be speaking tonight, but the ancestors told me to. All right. After I get this live lecture, I don't know when I'm gonna speak publicly again. If they tell me to speak, I will publicly. You feel me? But before we even get rolling and going, let's set the vibratory frequency. You feel me? We're doing four sets of three. All right? For those of you who not on my website, y'all need to get on it because I gave a, a deep download Friday, I believe, or Thursday, about a seven-week program to cleanse your chakras. So if you want to watch that, you're going to have to go join the website, www.theuci.online. Normally, I would say go on Twitter, go on Instagram, let them know we live. I don't give a fuck who you let know. I don't give a fuck if everybody walk out the live and there's three people in here. I nigga, ain't nobody got everywhere. All y'all can leave, and I'm still gonna say what I gotta say. That's that's like that's the fact, cause it ain't really about nothing else right now, but just letting it all out. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna do four sets of three. So you're in the university. You know how this go. The first set will be for the the directions, the four different directions on this plane. North, East, South, and West. The second set will be for solids, liquids, gases, plasma, energy, which are the four phases of matter. And the third set is for the elements, water, fire, earth, or planet Chi, air, all right? So y'all get ready to tap to tap in. Y'all get ready to tap in. Y'all get ready to tap in. All right. Okay, the next set will be for the four phases of matter. All right, you want to always pull in all elements because we are on a physical realm, but we are spiritual beings. So you want to connect both realms. All right, always, always do that. All right. So that's for the solids. That's 
for the liquids. The gas rounds. Plasma energy rounds. Now for the elements. Water. Fire. Earth, soil, or planet Kai. Air. Sit this to the side. Let's sit this to the side. It has served this purpose. Shape. Now check this out. Y'all know we open up every lecture with a light meditation. We channeling in 
the energy of our ancestors that was here before us, those who fought and died for us to be free, some shit we still not today. And I'm not talking about them whole ass ancestors that walked and marched and complied. I'm talking about the real gods and goddesses, the real gangsters that stood and fought gullah war activity. You see what I'm saying? Them. You see what I'm saying? The ones they don't talk about. Feel me? I'm talking about them old Reishas, you know, Goon, Haitian Revolution. Them. Them. Who they don't talk about. Not them bitch ass ancestors that played a part in the reason why we still where we at today. Now listen, for everybody watching at home, watching all around the planet, we will be tapping into the willpower right now. All right? So we're going to tap into the solar plexus chakra. So the mudra that, we're, that we will be using during this light meditation, we're not... We not going here right now. We not, we not did, we ain't in the crown chakra right now. We need a lot of willpower. We channeling a lot of willpower. We in here with it. We, we all in here with it. So take your hands like this. Let me show you. You see? And you just, it's simple. You see how my thumbs is? Just in. Eh, right? Just like that. It's simple. Holding right here, right, right, align it with your solar plexus. Elbows out. Close your eyes. Inhale, hold it for three seconds. Let it out slowly. While the meditate, while the while the while the while the frequency is playing in the background during this meditation, envision the dark matter energy that's deep within you. Envision that you are everything and everything is you. Remember the purpose. Remember why you came. And remember the, the fight that will be against you when you stand up in your purpose. And remember all the ancestors and all our kids that got raped and killed all around the planet. Not just now. I'm talking about way, way, way back since they landed here. That's what you remember. All right? Think about how you feel when you see the police harassing somebody that don't deserve it because of the pigmentation of their skin. That's what you think about. Tap into that chaos energy. Tap into the divine Feminine energy deep within you as well as the divine masculine energy. High vibrational human beings, I need you to just, just think about how you've been lied to and how your very own human beings have left you behind. And how they left you here for the rise against us without you knowing what the fuck is really going on. How they took your jobs from you during a pandemic that they created. See what I'm saying? That's what y'all think about. The high vibrational human beings. And if you the CIA, the government, or a racist, you know, you know how we feel about y'all. It's fuck y'all. And it's stuck there. And it ain't never coming down. Under no circumstances. Period.
peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. How y'all vibing? How y'all vibing? I don't have any disclaimers. Fuck you if you ain't with me. That's my disclaimer. You ain't with me, leave now. Unsubscribe. F fuck me. Cancel, cancel your subscription on the website, whatever. Do what you got to do that's going to make you feel better. I, I believe in free will. Is it? That's my only disclaimer today. Because I, I didn't come to play today. Before we get started, though, it's imperative that I open up this live lecture with the right spiritual mother. This shit all night. I'll wait. You know what I'm saying? We'll do this shit all night. Period. You see, they just kicked me off YouTube. They ain't did that in a minute. We ain't even got the lecture started. They just kicked me clean off. Y'all seen that? We ain't even get the... Because they know what I'm finna say. You see? They know what I'm finna say. He said they just kicked me off, y'all, in the middle of the... They did kick me clean off. He said they do it. They know what I'm finna say today. They can feel it. They can feel the energy. Because to be honest with you, I can't remember the last time I was kicked off YouTube just like they just did right now. How I was talking. They kicked me right off line. See what I'm saying? I ain't even got to what I was finna say. You see him? See how they moving? I told y'all those who've been following me, right? Following this channel. I've been told y'all. I'm public enemy number one. I told y'all that. But why would Rashad Jamal be public enemy number one? What is Rashad Jamal doing that's making these people so mad they run these platforms? Said they just kicked me off live. That ain't new though. But they ain't, YouTube ain't kicked me off in a minute though. You see what I'm saying? But they ain't did that in a minute. 
But today, I'm finna address some real serious shit. They didn't kick the nigga off. Hmm. Let him who has eyes see clearly. What we have here is a situation, family. They, y'all waking up out there. But guess who responsible for the majority of this awakening? Me! Rashad Jamal. I'ma just say it. Cause I never say it. I never say it. I'm humble. I show love to other teachers and everything. You see? I'm humble. But today, fuck being humble. I didn't come to be humble today. Because sometimes you could be too humble. Sometimes you got you to gotta let it be known who you are for the record. So shit can add up out there. I'm not shooting no shots at no other black leaders. Because that ain't what I came to do neither. I didn't make this live. To attack my own. No I didn't. So please don't take it that way neither. And if you do. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. But. The information that I have been presenting to the public. The masses. The last two plus years. Since I elected to start going public. Because I didn't just start teaching when I went public. Been teaching my whole life. Niggas wasn't listening. And then one day I said, you know what? Let me go public. And I still didn't believe niggas was going to listen. And it just so happened niggas did. Because we in Aquarius age. Let's state that for the record too. My name is Divine Insight. Grandmaster teacher of the Ave Universe. I have presented nothing but esoteric facts to anybody that ever watched this channel. Now, whether you believe them facts or not, that's on you. I never told you that you had to believe any facts that I stated in here. I never told you that I'm your God. I never told you to worship me. No, I didn't. I only came to do what? Enlighten and inform and increase the frequency of the planet. I've always said I was for peace. It's the way I open up all my lectures. Peace reflections. Peace meaning positive energy always creates elevation. Right? But I've also said that if it takes war to get the peace, count me in, Jack. I'm with that too. Whatever it takes for the planet to come back to a stasis of pure nature, harmony, and peace. I am against my own people. That mean the gods and goddesses killing each other. That's another reason why I went public. I got tired of my own people. White people, this segment ain't got nothing to do with y'all right now. So chill out on the sidelines. I'll get to y'all in a second. But I got tired of seeing my own beautiful people, man. Walking around. Calling themselves bad bitches. When she really a goddess. Oh, I'm a bad bitch. No, you're not. You're a goddess. And nothing is bad about you because bad is a low frequency. Know who you are. I got tired of watching my beautiful people call themselves niggas, thugs, faux nim, gang gang. It's cool to play with the terminology, but do you really know who you are behind that flesh? I had to remind them. No, you ain't. You a god. I got tired of seeing the youth disrespect the elderly. So that's why when I open up my doors, I say, hey, I always send the deepest of insight to the elders and I always send it to my peers and I always send it to the youth because I want it to be the bridge to connect the youth back to the elderly, even though we know time and age ain't real. But it's about coming back together as one. The youth don't respect the elders, but they'll respect me because I'm the OG to them. You see, I'm not too old where the youth can't relate to me. I'm right there with them. 
But I'm not that young where the elderly can't relate to me because I'm right under them. So I'm in the middle. That's the perfect position to be in. So I use this platform to connect the youth to the elderly. I told the youth, don't ever disrespect your elders, man. Even if they wrong, you could, you could politely correct them and then go about your way. But I also told the elderly, you got to respect the youth. Yeah, you can't look down on these blue crystal babies. After all, if you did your part, these blue crystal babies wouldn't be where the fuck they is today. Right? I told my people, we got to be one with nature again. Way before Kevin Gates said that shit. Nothing against Kevin Gates. Shout out to him if he's raising his frequency, sending nothing but peace and love and insight to Kevin Gates. But way before Kevin Gates said that shit, you come right here and get this all day about nature. How we won with the plant life, the insects, the animals, everything around us. Right? I made y'all aware the truth about rainbows and how they stargates that lead to other dimensions, cosmic facts, other realms, I should say. I've spoken to you about the nine different eyes you have. One, two, three, four, five, knees, caps at seven and eight, bottom of the feet, I mean six and seven, bottom of the feet is eight and nine. I came and told you that. Reminded you of that. I made it cool to wear crystals. Niggas been wearing crystals, but not at this rate. The hood wearing crystals now. You have Rashad Jamal to thank for that. Yeah, other teachers been talking, but they ain't never connected with the streets. Not the way Rashad Jamal do. Because they didn't give a fuck about the streets. Because they don't really come from the streets. So they was just content on waking motherfuckers up that was eating bean pies and walking to church on Sunday. But what about everybody in the streets that don't go to church and don't go to, don't go to the mosque? Who gonna go talk to them? They still us. You have Rashad Jamal to thank for that. You know how many blue crystal babies in here don't give a fuck about you? But because they fuck with Rashad Jamal, they gonna listen to you as an elder now. They gonna respect themselves a, a whole lot more now. I ain't never judge them and say, you ain't got the right to have that intensity with that gun in your hand. You got the right to wanna kill something. That's your soul. But not each other though. Niggas can teach behind the computer all day. But the last time I checked, it was Rashad Jamal that was like, let's step behind this shit. And not just say it on the internet. Actually live it in everyday life. I also came and told the human, human beings who they were. White people, this is your segment. You didn't know that you were created in a petri dish by our ancestors or us. You didn't know that. And when I presented it to you, you thought I was making fun of your race. When actually I was teaching you science. You didn't know that. You didn't know that you come from a planet called, that you were created originally on a planet called NERN. You didn't know that. White America, no, you didn't. You couldn't understand why you smell like a dog every time you get wet. You didn't know that. Then Rashad Jamal came and told you, you have four animals that you were you that they used to graft you. And I'm not putting you down, because I fuck with the high vibrational human beings. But I'm not going to sit here and say you got all our good shit when you don't. And you knew you didn't have it. Your whole life. You're like, damn, why these black people don't be aging bad? They be 95, still looking 23. 
Meanwhile, I only look good from 19 to motherfucking 33. After that, it's foundation or nothing. You didn't know why your veins was blue. You didn't know that. White America with three Ks? No, you didn't. You thought you just had blue spider veins for no reason. And I had to remind you that comes from genetic splicing. Embrace it. Embrace it. Love yourself. I'm not putting you down. They might be laughing, but I'm, I'm not saying this to be fun, to make fun of you. And I'm not going to stop niggas from laughing. Niggas laugh at me. They get in here and fucking troll me and my own fucking shit. Right? The reason I told you that you blame your veins was blue was to point out things that was differences in us and y'all. No different than me saying, God damn it, it's not a secret that white people get treated better than black people. Would I be lying? Would I be lying if I say black people been lost like a motherfucker since the 60s? We've been killing the fuck out of each other. Raping each other, killing each other, robbing each other. We ain't got no respect for our goddesses. We call them number bitches. Goddesses, they got no respect for it. A nigga ain't shit. I don't need no nigga. Would I be lying if I said that? No, I wouldn't. So I'm not going to lie about you. You see? And I told you because I got love for everything. They, they got love for the planet. I didn't have to tell you that. Why did I point that difference out? Why did I let you know that we don't have DNA? We have DEA. Now, I'm not the first person to say that. A few other teachers have said that. But it was Rashad Jamal that made you listen to it, though. See what I'm saying? And then you went and looked it up for yourself and thought about it like, damn, he got a point. They is more athletic than, athletic than us. What, what the fuck is missing? We look the same. Why the fuck can't we take the sun, but they can? You have your melanin to thank for that. You have melanin in you. You're not from this planet. I'm just here to make it make sense to you. Just like we had motherfucking mysteries as black people, y'all like to call us or your ancestors, you had mysteries. Why these black dudes' dicks be so big? That's how y'all felt. White men and the white women. White women, shit, you bitches can't get enough. And when I call you a bitch, I'm not being disrespectful. You have dog, lemur, snub nose monkey, and pig. That's not being disrespectful. Exit now if you want me to lie. Y'all love these big black dicks. I had to let y'all know why, though. D-E-A. D-N-A. See what I'm saying? I'm going to be 60 still. Ugh. Nice. Ripped. Chisely. Ugh. Bang. Bang. With no working out. I ain't worked out in months, to be honest. I'm going to still stay chisel drizzle. You hear me? D-E-A. And I'm strong. I hit, I hit hard. Trust me. I hit a lot harder than my side. I'm telling you right now. Meanwhile, you can't do that without using something to help you look like this. See what I'm saying? Just to get this. Just to get this. This Adonis belt. Y'all got to take all type of supplements. What's the difference? DEA and DNA. Green veins. I had to come and tell you that. Blue veins. Blue veins, genetic splicing. Green veins, gamma radiation. I'm just trying to show you that we different. But why are we different, though? Why can't you take that sun? But we can. And the plants and the animals and the insects, the grass, the trees and everything else. But you, why? You should feel misplaced here. You should want to know why. And furthermore, why is it a a black person. They had to come and tell you that. 
Why they ain't tell you? Who told you it was the difference between two sets of white people? Because, you know, my people roused up ready to whoop anything, anything without a soul. I had to calm them down. Look, y'all, it's not all white people. It's a difference. You got your hierarchy 13 families. Them the white people that run shit. All the white people, human beings that work around us. I know they look like the enemy and they get a little privilege, but that's a chess move because they really not the enemy. Who came and did that white America? Divine insight. I could have took this platform and had every motherfucker like, fuck all white people. I ain't never said that. Never. I'm here to teach. I'm not here to promote violence or hatred. That I'll never promote that. You see what I'm saying? If I was promoting a race war, guess who would love me more? The oppressors. But I don't. I teach you the science and then I don't promote a race war. I just tell it like it really is. Even when my own people say, why ain't we saying fuck all white people? I'd be like, you're right. I want to say the same thing. But them niggas don't run shit. It ain't them. They don't even fucking know. I've never been biased. I came to teach. I didn't come to keep the planet vibrating low. I came to raise the frequency. I don't give a fuck how you feel about the truth or my own people. I'm going to tell you the truth, man. And I'm not going to be mad at you if you don't listen. Never have. And I also never told you that you couldn't get the truth without me. Unlike your favorite pastor. See what I'm saying? Unlike they told you in religion, you can't get the truth unless you go through Jesus. I ain't never told niggas I'm the only one with the VIP pass. I gave you the sauce. I said go within. And while you trying to figure out how to go within, I'm going to still give you the sauce. I ain't say go within and then walk off. I ain't turned my back on my people, my mission one time. Boy, I done came and showed love to other teachers. Tell it, hey, y'all go check him out. Go check him out. Only to have him tell my mama, hey, you go check him out. Only to have him turn around and diss me. A lot of teachers did that to me. I still wish them with. Because I didn't come to, be, to, to, to do that. Their ancestors is telling them something. And the ancestors are telling me something. They got their mission. I got my mission. Fuck if they don't understand me enough. I'm a divine being. One of the original 23 scientists. The 119th soul ever created. I know who I am. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I am. You think I'm some nigga on YouTube. Just making this shit to make it. Meanwhile, the government is plotting to take my life. Manufacturing false cases against me. Now running my name through the mud with this shit that happened in Alabama. Because I am him. He who they fear. I am him. How can he do all this through a phone? How can he wake up millions of people Millions. All through a phone. It's different when you come sit in this lecture. You know it's real. You feel it. Ain't no ass have to be ran at you or nothing. You feel it. We do a rally. Shit. We ain't seen no motherfuckers rally in a minute. We still had 2,000, 3,000 motherfuckers pop out that day. Meanwhile, we got a lot of motherfuckers been teaching forever. Why they ain't doing it? Why they ain't trying to get our people together? We got another rally coming up. 222-22 right here in Atlanta. 
Why they ain't trying to do it? Why niggas scared to step outside? And I ain't talking about no marching shit. We ain't protesting shit that belong to us. When we step outside, we meeting amongst us, we meeting and greeting, we feeling each other energy out, because we know we all on the same vibe, we mass meditating, fuck around, shoot a video just to make it, the, the vlog get in the way, and discuss whatever else need to be discussed. That's what we do when we come together. And when we come together, we come in peace. We not coming together to go attack, no, no. We not coming together that we going to attack white people. Stop it. We not coming together to just run off and go attack the police randomly. Stop it. That ain't what we did. When niggas pulled up, it was kids out there and all, man. We had a great time. Police pulled up. We enlightened they ass. They're like, you right, they left. But we was already leaving anyway. You had motherfuckers like, damn, why we ain't? Because you, you just slid up in here to just be a, a chaos agent. You don't think I peep the chaos agents niggas come to the rally? Yo, let's turn this bitch up. We already turned up because we together. When the last time you seen a thousand some black people get together and it was white people that came, we all get together with one common enemy and don't nobody get hurt. Don't nobody get shot. It was more guns than people out there, nigga. This Georgia, niggas license to carry, niggas license to... More guns than people out there now. And everybody was showing that shit because it's an open carry state. Ain't nobody get hurt. When last time we seen that? You won't even see a thousand motherfuckers come together on nothing, nigga, unless it's a rap concert. And at the end of the show, nigga, squared up in the crowd or they outside. You go to the club, if it is a thousand motherfuckers there, because the club be small and it might be like three, four, five hundred motherfuckers jammed in that bitch. But if it is a thousand, how that's ending? Niggas outside sending shots, females to kick they stilettos off. They, you know what I'm saying? They going upside heads with they stilettos, all type of shit. They chasing hoes down. Bitch, what you say on Facebook? I told you we was coming up here. Bitch, we be outside for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you see. But when we came together, it was peace, positive energy, pure intent, but no fear, though. We don't fuck with y'all. Y'all don't fuck with us. We ain't out here to hurt nobody. We build. Just stay the fuck out of our way. Because we ain't, we ain't coming to fuck with you. Don't fuck with us. Don't, don't, don't fuck with us. We not fucking with you. We not no group of radicals. This ain't no motherfucking cult neither. How we gonna talk about it? Now they wanna drag Rashad Jamal name all through the mud on Fox News now. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Why? Because Rashad Jamal, my name in this realm, but my spiritual self, divine insight, one of the original 23 scientists that came back down to the planet and he's unplugging millions from the matrix. Because only a divine being can stir your soul like that, man. Fuck what I'm talking about. How do your soul feel? You feel that energy. Can't nobody fake that. This ain't TV, nigga. This me at the house on the phone with a tripod. With a motherfucking tripod with my family. My daughter's upstairs. My wife right there, nigga. You feel that because I am a divine being. It's a difference, man. I came back to do this. And fight with y'all on the front line against them. That's why they fucking with me. They just kicked me off YouTube before we started this, didn't they? I just got Instagram back today all of a sudden. That was two months. 
They put a fake case on me last May. How the fuck you charged me with kidnapping my son? My, I didn't know you could kidnap your own son. But hey, when you're him, we gonna try to find any reason we can to silence him. This ain't new. How many times have we seen this shit before? How many, nigga? Every time it's the same shit. Either he was a drug dealer on the low and he was killing motherfuckers on the low. Yahweh been Yahweh. Let the government tell it. Or they flat out, they flat out assassinate you. Oh, we got a million of them. Malcolm, Martin, JFK. Huh. Shit, Muhammad Gandhi. <laughs> shit, nigga, nigga. <laughs> Don't get me in the music industry with this shit, nigga. <laughs> All the singers, nigga. Sam Cooke, Marvin Gaye, nigga. We can keep going. Or if they don't want to flat out assassinate you because they don't want it to look messy, they drug you. See what I'm saying? Pimp C. Now you overdose off lane. Or all of a sudden you don't know how to drive. You get in a car crash. Left eye. Princess Diana. William Cooper. That wrote Behold the Pale White Horse. Hell, you can't even buy that book no more. Hope you read it before. If not, Eh, it's gonna be hard to get to it. He came up that shit in the 80s. Or guess what? You a pedophile. Because they know us. One thing about us black people, I don't give a fuck how low you vibrating. We don't do no pedophiles and no rapists, bro. Even on the street side, boy, you come in jail talking about you a pedophile or rape, we're gonna damn near kill you in that bitch. On the real. You're going to have some explaining to do. And it better make sense. Facts. I did years in jail. You can't tell me. You could tell somebody else that, that they ain't never been to jail, nigga. I'm just facing life, nigga. You can't tell me shit, nigga. If you ain't never went to trial and fought for your life, you can't tell me shit, nigga. About no courtrooms, nigga. I don't give a fuck you about your baby daddy, your cousin, what they told you. I don't give a fuck if you went and your ass had a crack case, a gun case. Nigga, if you ain't had no murders, no attempt murders, no armed robbery with murders, no shit where you wasn't gonna come home for 40 years like me, you can't tell me shit, nigga. I ain't trying to hear it. Because I lived it. Summers in jail, nigga, years. For some shit, once again, that I didn't do. Well, I did, but I wasn't wrong. It was self-defense. Feel me? Nigga tried to kill me and my mama. So he had to, he had to, it had to, it had to, it was me or him. I end up beating it with self-defense, but I sat in jail four years. The state attorney knew I, I was right from the fucking jump. You know why? Because that Cook County State Attorney in Chicago works for the system. And the system knew who divided this site was. They're like, hold on. He's finna activate in a minute. Let's give him life in jail. It didn't work. I walked out that bitch though. This how you know I'm a divine being. I didn't have no lawyer. I couldn't afford one, nigga. Nah, y'all gonna hear my story today. Fuck that. Niggas think this shit just YouTube for me, man. I'm a real life one of them, bro. On any level. On any level you wanna talk to. On any level you wanna go. I went to college, excelled. I was in the streets, excelled. Went to jail with a fucking leader, nigga, excelled, nigga. Now you do your research, you do your call around, and you already know what I do right here as an intellect. And y'all starting to find out what the fuck I do as a musician. And you would have been heard my music, but guess what? I ain't want to suck no dicks up at Atlantic Records. I ain't want to sell the fuck out. Nigga, I told y'all they offered me $2 million deal. I wasn't lying, but guess what? When I told y'all that, I was just putting lectures out every day. Now niggas like, oh, hold on, I think he might have a little talent. He might have been telling the truth there. Nigga, I ain't never lied to you about shit, nigga. You don't know who I am. You feel me? I give. Regardless of what's took it from me, I give, boy. 
Numbers money out and gave the motherfuckers in Atlanta homeless people. We always giving back. We giving clothes away this week, nigga. And if I ain't doing it there, I did it on, I used to do it on Instagram. So they start motherfucking, you know, reporting the nigga if they didn't win the money. I done gave thousands away on my IG. Every month, niggas know. Thousand dollar giveaway with Shah Jamal. Your favorite celebrity will never do it. And they got millions, nigga. You want to know who Rashad Jamal is? I'm him. Nigga, I've been getting death threats since last year. I ain't never stopped teaching. I went harder, nigga. This shit started on Facebook. The real no. Kicked off Facebook for six months for telling y'all the truth. Then we went to Instagram. Instagram started blocking me for telling y'all the truth. Nigga, don't nobody get blocked more than me, nigga. Nobody. Nobody. So what does that tell you? All this man doing is getting on the fucking phone and talking to us, man. Who the fuck is he that they got to go at him that hard? What the fuck do he know? What's really to this information that he's fucking presenting to us? Fuck who presenting the message. Are they getting attacked? If niggas ain't getting attacked, niggas ain't thorough. We're on the pet ease. Nigga be a whole real life agent. He been and read some fucking books and start going live. And nigga, y'all will believe that he one of us. Nigga, you know us when you see us. Nigga, they fuck with us, nigga. If a nigga ain't getting fucked with, he ain't us, nigga. We know us when we see us. They can't stand us. Why? Because I'm out here giving back to the people. Not just information. Any finances I get after I make sure my family good, uh, they, we, we family. Anybody I see, motherfuckers run up want to take pictures, all that. I don't be on no Hollywood shit, nigga. I'm going to shake every hand, take every picture. I'm, I'm looking at you like, man, we family. Hell yeah, you can get a picture with you on. When motherfuckers came out here and we had to go and I want us to go meditate at Stone Mountain, I paid for every single motherfucking car to get in, nigga. You going to know who I am today, nigga. I ain't no nigga just sitting here on YouTube. You better know the difference, man. You better know the difference, man. My, care, my energy comes once Every blue moon to these planets for real, bro. For real, bro. Because most motherfuckers is for they self. I'm for us. I'm for us. Nigga can say whatever you want to say. But you can never take that from me, boy. Average motherfucker would have been folded. Nigga would have been folded. Like you playing space, nigga would have been folded. Uh, book to the side. Nigga didn't counteract you. Yeah, I got nine books in the possible. Fuck you talking about. I'm still 10 toes. You don't know the half of what a nigga go through just to present the information to y'all. You hear me? Just to present the information to y'all, bro. This shit ain't just hit me from the internet. Nigga, they start death threats in real life. I didn't stop teaching y'all. That turns into cases. How I kidnap my own son, bro. Then bring them back. Now I'm a pedophile. I didn't touch somebody's door. Well, somebody's daughter didn't touch me. Come on, man. Are, we, are you serious? Then guess what? You know how many fucking celebrities they got hit with some type of sex allegation? I, oh, everybody love Kobe, but you forgot Kobe has got hit with a sex case too, right? Because you know these bitches are fucking lie. Let's be real. Motherfucking bitches a lot. A god is ain't, but a bitch will. A bitch a lie quick. They come up. Oh, let me get some bread off them. Oh, let me get a name. I got my lash business I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be. A bitch will do that. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, man. But this is the kicker, though. Every time a celebrity got hit with them type of accusations, ain't no motherfucking U.S. Marshals running their crib, G. U.S. Marshals ran in this motherfucking nigga. 
Huh. No evidence on nothing. I posted my whole incident report. You better go back and watch that Dirty Cops and I didn't delete the video, nigga. You didn't have to get that storyline. You didn't have to get that from TMZ. You ain't had to go Google that. You wasn't on Instagram and it, it came across your feed. No, I brought it to you. Because I'm going to always keep it real over rich, nigga. Whether it's about me or somebody else. Not your favorite celebrity, nigga. We all found out through the, through the media, nigga, through the magazine. And then when they got hit like that, even fucking R. Kelly. We talking about Kells. We know the crazy shit they said he did. They ain't saying I did no shit like that. Guess what happened to Kells? Nigga was notified. Nigga was arrested, booked, whatever, charged, bond, fight the case. Nigga, do you do y'all already know what happened in my case? First off, do you know my case is at arraignment phase? It's been at arraignment phase since September. Those following me know, but you got to understand the process and for those who just started following in between that time. I was never arrested on these allegations or booked or ever investigated. Ain't nobody talked to my family, got our side, looked at our texts, all our shit to show that my baby mama vindictive. Nobody ever came to talk to me. Do you know that you're supposed to, you got the right to a preliminary hearing? No, y'all got to hear how my case is going. I'm, I'm trying to make a point here. We'll get to it. Nigga. I've been, I'm at arraignment phase in my case. Do you know how it's supposed to go for those who never been to jail? I'll help you. You could Google it. You're supposed to get charged with a case and they, they don't really, they, they come up with charges. Then they go uh, get an arrest warrant. They arrest you. You get booked in the processing. Then you go to your first day appearance, right? Then and there they decide, the judge decide if you go to your bond or not. From there, your next thing is preliminary hearing. Okay, for those who don't know how this fucked up court system work, because it's, you know, they, it's maritime admiralty law. All right. It's the law of the water anyway. But that's a whole nother lecture. You supposed to go to preliminary hearing right then and there. You got the right to have your lawyer. They can drop the case. And then after preliminary hearing, they decide if they're going to grand jury indict your case. And if they grand jury indict you, now it becomes an official case. Okay, you with me? Stay with me. After they grand jury indict you. Then it becomes a they indict your case over. Now it's the case. Then you go to arraignment. You see how that go? Because at arraignment, that's when you walk in with your lawyer and you plead guilty or not guilty. Stay with me now. But with Rashad Jamal, do you know niggas just jumped over all of that? All of that. Nigga, I ain't never been arrested, booked, questioned, first day appearance. No preliminary hearing, which everybody's supposed to be entitled to. No, then they went straight to the grand jury. G, they jumped over five steps, went to the grand jury. Grand jury indicted my case, and I'm at arraignment. But I've never been arrested. I don't think y'all understand that. I'm at arraignment phase in my case, y'all. But I've never been arrested. Do you know you supposed to? If they put an arrest warrant out for you, and you never been arrested, guess what it be, y'all? It just be an arrest warrant until they catch your motherfucking ass. Right? And then once they catch you, you come in and chill. Then they run you through that process. How the fuck is we at arraignment and I ain't never been arrested? And the next phase step after arraignment is pretrial. How we do all that without a body? How did you grand jury indict my case without a body? Who's in charge here? Remember I told y'all we, we not citizens of this constitution anyway. I told y'all that, but let my case be an example of that. Now, check this out. Do y'all know that in October, which a lot of y'all do, the baby mama said the son ain't even mine. She knew in January he wasn't mine, but you told me to come pick him up in May and took $2,000 from him. Y'all remember that? I showed all that. But check this out, y'all. It gets deeper. Guess what happened to my baby mama in November, y'all? She got locked up her goddamn self. See what I'm saying? She get bonded out on her little scam charges and shit. Her and her older daughter. These are the same two motherfuckers supposed to be witnesses in my case. Y'all like her catching cases, right? Turn around in January, the oldest daughter been inboxing me, texting me, sending me pictures of my son. Oh, I feel so bad. She 20. Oh, I feel so bad. I want you to see Zaza because I know you miss Zaza. Zaza, I miss you. Why you ain't go down there and tell the motherfucking crackers that then though? Because you and your mama saying, I'm this, if I'm this, if I'm him, if I'm him, him, 
If I'm a Chester Cheeto, fuck is you want to send me pictures of my son for? That don't add up now. Y'all know I got all the receipts now. I do receipts. Y'all know I do receipts. But I'm just talking to the family though. Because I'm making a point today. I'm making a point today about what's going on right now. Because it gets deeper than this. I got a whole other case to talk about. You feel me? Why my lawyers who stepped up and took my case, these niggas then got 40 racks. These niggas ain't doing shit. Why y'all ain't presenting this evidence? Who y'all really working for? Who y'all working for? See what I'm saying? Who y'all working for? Oh, I get it. We really want Rashad Jamal because he's waking a lot of people up. First off, the way my whole case moved proves that this is coming from higher up. You, you, I didn't even know that was possible. You know, I went to jail a lot as a teen, y'all. You see what I'm saying? I know the judicial process. You, you don't do that. You can't go to arraignment without being arrested. Because when you walk in there and the judge say, not guilty. I mean, uh, how do you plead? And we be like, not guilty. Then, it, then the state going to say, oh, and also I want him detained today. The judge going to say, why? Why are we detaining Mr. White? The, 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 the lawyer going to fucking say this. The DA going to say, the ADA going to say, the assistant district attorney is going to say, well, he has an arrest warrant, your honor. And the judge should be saying, how the fuck are we at arraignment if he's never been arrested? That's what he's supposed to say. Come on now. But you know how that go. We see how they did the Panthers, right? Political prisoner. That's what they call us. Political prisoners, nigga. When they, when they don't kill you, they try to sit you in there and silence you. Like I say, we got a lot. Matolo Shakur, we can name a million motherfuckers like that. But let's look deeper. When fucking Brother Perlite, he got charged of actually raping his girlfriend's daughter. I'm not putting him down because I'm not saying God he did it or not. But I'm looking at the process. I'm trying to show you processing. When they charged Brother Perlite, that ain't no motherfuckers running his crib. He was notified. They did a whole investigation, which is why Brother Polite had to, remember he said, hey, y'all, I had to turn in my semen. And he had his, his DEA, he had to turn his semen in, and he had to wait like two months. And then once the, re the results came back, that it was his fucking semen they said they found, then they formally charged him, and that's when he took his ass in jail and he bonded out the next day. That ain't happened in my case. I didn't even know I had a case until I got back. And the U.S. Marshals had kicked in our motherfucking door. And not only that, by the time I got back and our door was kicked in, I not only had my door kicked in, but I also had a court date that I missed. This is why I got a warrant for, I got a bench arrest warrant right now that I've been having since fucking September. Anybody follow me, I already know that. You see what I'm saying? How I got a warrant for missing court in September and I wasn't even here when y'all came to the crib and y'all knew I wasn't here and gave me a fucking court date. I'm just trying to show y'all the processing now. This happened in Georgia. I'm just trying to show y'all the processing. Listen, we got all the evidence, my baby mama lying and all that. The fucking father of her daughter still talks to me. He cool with me, his whole family. My baby mama whole family still cool with me because they know how she is. Your oldest daughter reaching out to me. Right? That's one case though. Now let me show you the other case they trying to build. Do you know, did y'all see what happened in Alabama? Oh, no. They're concocting right now. They concocting heavy. They don't plan on me making it through this year. Because they, they looking at it like, I'm unplugging too many of y'all. I'm showing you a bigger picture here. Right? Did y'all hear what happened in Alabama? It came all on the news. Motherfucker sent it to me. Some dude then went and took a samurai sword and killed his motherfucking mama. Right? But this is the crazy thing. I'm going to show y'all the article. In the article, the dead, like, my son was never like that. He started watching a bunch of conspiracy videos lately. It's a black dead, too. And he like, he like, my son was never like that. But lately, he's been watching a bunch of conspiracy videos on TikTok. And he was like, I believe that my son killed my wife because, of the, because he been watching videos from Rashad Jamal. Are you serious? Do y'all see what they're doing? This was Fox 10 News in Alabama reported this. Some dude 
Cause for all we fucking know, you know how they be fucking lying. Nigga, nigga probably ain't even killed nobody. And they'll they'll make that story up just to start to get my name rolling. They on a they they in the article saying I got a coat. We a coat now, y'all. When the fuck was my man? I'm finna show y'all the article. I ain't never sat here and told you to kill your motherfucking mama. When has that been my message? That's the complete opposite of what I stand for. So if he went and took a sword and killed his mama, that shit ain't got shit to do with me. That's that nigga. Because he ain't get that from me. You feel me? He ain't get that from me. Are you serious? And then the daddy's on Fox 10. Well, yeah, he been watching a bunch of Rashad Jamal videos. Are you serious? So guess what they could take that and do? They could take that and be like, oh, he got a coat. And then they could literally start trying to shut all this down. But kept, check it out. They could go a step further. I'm going to show it to y'all. They could go a step further and be like, man, he got a coat. And he got people out here killing their moms. Now, what if they roll out three more stories like that? Which, what you think the, what you think they're going to try to do? See what I'm saying? You see how they take it? It starts with them tearing down your character. Tearing down your name. Fox 10 News ain't never mentioned my motherfucking name in their life. See what I'm saying? But, but now when they first do mention my name, look how they mentioning it. That's not nothing light. That's not light at all. That's not light at all. Y'all see the views just drop to one. Oh, I popped back in. But that's not light at all. That's not light, bro. You're attaching my name to a motherfucker killing a mama. I don't stand for that. When I have I ever taught that message? Hey, y'all, kill y'all family. I'd have told your ass if your family got the vaccine, shit, you need to be getting the fuck away from their ass. But if you can, it is cool. You feel me? We ain't never sit here and, pre and preach that message, bro. When we preach it, when we, that's low vibrational. I respect the fuck out of my mama. I ain't never told them, hey, look, y'all, everybody takes swords and go kill y'all mamas tonight. That's class. So why the fuck is the daddy on TV talking about I feel like he did this because he been watching Rashad Jamal. Now, nah, if he was watching Rashad Jamal, nigga, he wouldn't have never did no shit like that. That's actually the complete opposite. That sounds like he been listening to some motherfucking rock and roll or Lil Uzi Vert or some shit. He ain't never listened to no Rashad Jamal and did no shit like that. So who y'all think y'all fooling? America with three Ks? You already blocking me, fucking with me, going live. Been sending me death threats since last year in emails. You think I'm just rapping when I said feds send me letters and email fails feds send me emails and DMs say they gonna kill me? But I conquer my fist so ain't no I'm not just rapping, nigga. So you had all that going on. You had all these platforms kicking me off so I couldn't tell y'all this. This is how we had to start my own website. That's why I shout out to everybody that joined the website because they understood that that struggle. Like, man, God on this bitch going through it just to get this shit to it. They blocking them. They cutting them off. They kicking them off. They done. We on the website with it. That's how we start the website. Then they roll out a fake case in May. That holds no evidence. Don't make no sense. If a nigga molested your daughter and asked your daughter to touch my dick in any form, way, or motherfucking fashion... That would have been your fucking call when you called the police. You called the police and said, I kidnapped my own son. And then when that kidnapping charge ain't work, then you added some shit. That's how that went. That's in the incident report. She added while on the scene, she said. So why didn't you initially call and say, hey, my daughter said that my ex baby, my baby daddy asked him to ask her to touch his dick. Why wasn't that said? If and, and went and, and I only had my son, y'all. Keep in mind, I had just people that follow me know because I went live on IG. I'm so happy when I got him. It was me, my wife, my mom. I had just flew my mom in town and my daughter Lele. We pull up to my baby mama house. I ain't seen my baby mama in almost a year. 
So if if you is saying somebody molested you, because I don't take them allegations lightly at all. Anybody know me will never believe no shit like that. That's why it didn't work. My this platform ain't get smaller. I came out with this in September as soon as we found out. This platform has gained an extra 30,000 followers since then. You can't stop what the ancestors put in motion at all. Ain't no fake motherfuckers be like, oh, I ain't fucking with it. Niggas seen right through it. Why? Because I was so honest. I put everything out there. We did a whole six-hour lecture on this shit. You feel me? So, me, I'm looking at it like, if I'm a detective, the first thing I'm going to think is like, okay, well, he y'all was together a year ago. So why she ain't say nothing, been saying nothing? Okay, well, she was scared. Come on now. She going to say something. He ain't around you at all. All right? And if she is going to say something, she happened to come and tell you this the same day that you said he kidnapped his son? Are we serious here, y'all? Ain't nobody going to do that. A, a child going to be honest in that. They're going to be right off back with it. And on top of it, they're not waiting to no year later. How? I got a wife, a mom, and a daughter, Lele, who witnessed this little girl and a little boy come outside and give me a hug and ask to come with us because their little brother was coming with us. I gave that my baby mama $2,000 right there. I said, listen, you can take this $2,000, furnish your crib because my, my son still stay here. You feel me? My son still stay here. Just like I give to y'all. What the fuck makes you think I ain't going to give to my, the mother of my child? Right? Give her 2000 It ain't nothing. Look, just furnish your career because my son still stay here. I'll take another 1000 and motherfucking take him shopping. I just flew my mom in, in, into Atlanta from Chicago for the first time. Like I said, we come out the hood. We all Division and Noble. My mama grew up at Cabrini Green Project. She ain't never left Chicago. So I'm like, man, you know, I'm reaching back for my people now. Like, okay, I'm in the A, I'm good. Now it's time to, now I got to get get my people out. You know what I'm saying? Man, moms fly out, fly moms out. First time in the A, feet just hit the, she just hit, ooh, she just hit. You feel me? Feet just, ooh. You feel me? She ain't took in the Atlanta air good. She in the back seat. My baby mama text her, hey, you want to see Zaza? She tricked us over there. So we rush over there. Oh, hell yeah, we want to see Zaza. Go grab Zaza. I ain't seen him in, in eight months. I'm like, oh, mom's in town. The gods feel me. Oh, mom's in town. Baby mama feeling good. I get to get my son. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. Take, take the 2000 I Fuck the money. Give me my son. Fuck, take the money. Give me my son. I can make my own money. See what I'm saying? Take the money. That's why I gave her so much extra. A fucking child ain't $2,000. We, we got one baby. No court is going to make me give you $2,000. In child support. Are we serious? They're not going to do that. So I'm a blessing ass baby daddy. Not to mention I was take care of all your fucking kids. And I got receipts. I put $50,000 in your pocket over three years, man. I got all my cash out receipts. We talking about $50,000 over three years. Took care of all the kids, nigga. And my baby mama older than me. See what I'm saying? She's older than me. She damn near 10 years older than me. She like eight years older than me or some shit. Feel me? So... She kind of looked at me like a little nigga. Like, no matter what I did, he my son. I had to get about that jam. Like, I'm not your son. You feel me? You ain't going to treat me like I'm your son. I'm not going to be in this bitch paying all the bills and you and your daughter doing what the fuck she want to do around this bitch. Feel me? Facts. Just being honest. Keeping the G. Shit ain't work out. You feel me? Over the years, I had to get away. She get on some you can't see your son shit. How I done told the same story a million times already. You ain't heard me talk about this shit in months. Feel me? Then we come pick up my son, give you $2,000. Before we get back to the A, you blowing me up. Then you want to call my wife bitches because you see her playing with my son. That's her son too if this is my wife. You bitter though. You like, oh, he riding clean. They living good. He all big and famous now. He all over the internet. Who he think he is? Oh, he made it without me. Oh, mm, I got him. I got him. That's what that was. That's exactly what it was. You feel me? Because she was already keeping my son from me, so she thought it was going to take me down. And even though it was hurting me, y'all know I am still teaching every day, still loving on my wife harder, loving on my... 
It ain't stopping nothing. I ain't let that shit change my heart. I ain't let it. I felt used, man. I feel used now. Because I'm always giving, giving, giving. Even when I'm on here with y'all, I'm giving y'all my energy, my all that, man. Because I love y'all. But it be like that, who gonna... You know what I'm saying? I be feeling like that. Just keeping it real. You feel me? I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Fuck who stay, fuck who leave, because the real gonna feel me right now. Even the music I'm putting out. I'm trying to set a new trend for the musicians coming under so they can use their voice to, to cast positive energy. Everything I'm doing is focused on bettering us. I ain't running no streets. I'm with my wife all the time. Bro. I'm with my kids. They come everywhere I go. Literally. Bro. Because I'm about family. My wife, natural. Exactly how I love her. How I like my God is natural. You don't see me with no wife. Fake ass titties. Fake ass. Long ass weed. You get that fake shit out of here. Ain't attaching nothing fake to me. You know why? Because I know it's young goddesses that look up to me and probably be like, Oh, that guy get me with Shia Jamal when I get older. But guess what? They going to feel good because they like, damn, well, I ain't got to look fake. His wife natural. She even got a scar right there on her stomach. He still love the fuck out of her. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ain't that right, man? Yeah. And she like everything about me. You feel me? But I, I do that because I understand I'm killing the narrative. Everything I do is strategic. I don't just move. I'm killing the narrative. So when I'm showing y'all with my family out of town, they don't like that neither. Like this motherfucker, he's giving back. He's being charitable. He got all these people looking up to him, so they're going to do what he's doing. He's wearing crystals as opposed to wearing chains and shit like that. He could be wearing more chains and shit. You see what I'm saying? He, he, he's showing family. He's preaching family. He's living this shit. He's a threat out here. We can't buy him. We can't get him to sell his soul. We already tried that before. He turned down $2 million. He fucking up shit. Every time we try to sacrifice a motherfucker, he going live and killing it. Fucking up shit. He's too influential at this point. So what the fuck he say? They listening by the millions. We got to get him out the way. That's what it's come to now. That's why I'm holding this whole lecture with you. When you see this article, boy, you know it's up. Hold on. You feel me? Man, look, let me show y'all this article, man. Boy, all uh, these people think they think they slick. They'll never be smarter than me. So I see it coming from a mile away. Check this out, y'all. Come on. Let's go to the drawing board a little bit. Let's go to the drawing board. Tuck this out. Yeah, y'all screen record all this shit. Because if any harm try to come my way, y'all want y'all to know who the fuck it is, what it is, what's going on. Because I'm going to stand 10 toes regardless, nigga. Look at this. Father of sword attack suspect says son gripped by paranoia, obsession with son. All right, now check this out. Man uses samurai sword to kill his mother. Man uses samurai sword to kill his mother. Now let's read it. Let's read it. A man accused of killing his mother with a samurai sword and injuring two other family members on Sunday began behaving strangely days before the incident, according to his father. Hubert Wasson said he noticed subtle changes in his 23-year-old son, Damien Winslow Washam. About four to six weeks, er six weeks earlier, he, had, he said his son, his son sold his beloved PlayStation games and started watching strange videos of Egyptian mythology and conspiracies. All right? People how they labeling it too. People how they labeling it. All right. Hold on. I'm going to go back up. 
Okay, we getting down there. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So, he started having his... Yeah, y'all screen record this. He started having his infatuation with the sun. We know ain't nothing bad about the sun, but just, look, look, just, look, just listen. Listening to them conspiracy theory type things. He just started coming out and being in the sun, trying to get closer to the sun. The elder Washam told Fox 10 News on Friday, hours after a judge set bond for his son totaling $800,000. Washam said his son has no criminal record except for a misdemeanor arrest in Sarah Lynn for possession of a marijuana joint and no history of mental illness. But he added that the small changes he had noticed became more dramatic in the few days before the incident. He said Damien switched to a vegetarian diet and started using metal kick bars to block the front and back doors from the inside. Now, the only thing weird they said in this paragraph is him using metal kick bars to block the front and back door. Him going vegan and getting more sun wasn't nothing wrong with that. But look how they worded it, though. Let's keep going. This the father. We never had any problems out of him. And then all of a sudden he stated he started acting paranoid, I guess. Still, Washam said he has spent the day with Damien on Sunday and everything seemed fine. He said he left the house on Moosop Road in the eight mile semis area about 20 minutes before the incident occurred. He said he was going to get some food and called home, but not reached anyone. Now, Washam is the is the is the defendant's daddy. Washam said his autistic son, Desmond, then caught the caught with news that was hard to process. He called me and told me mama died. Damien hurt mama, he said. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office alleges that Damien Washam used a sword he recently had purchased to kill his mother, 61-year-old Helen Nettles Washam. The defendant also critically wounded his uncle, George Washington Nettles, a 52-year-old bedridden man with cerebral palsy. Desmond Washam, the one who informed his father of the attack, suffered cuts to the wrist. The defendant then led law enforcement and authorities on a 20-minute chase before they managed to stop his Honda Accord on Alabama 158. All right? So they basically saying that... Hold on, let me flip it around. They basically saying, in the article thus far... I'm going to show you all where they said my name. They basically saying that this son was watching all these conspiracy videos on YouTube and he was going out getting more sun. And basically, this was weird to the dead. His son was getting more sun. He became vegan. That shouldn't have been weird, but it was to the dead. So that show you how low vibrational that household was and he was in anyway. You get what I'm saying? Now, him far as him saying the son started like trying to guard the front and back door with like workout equipment, that's really weird, but everything else wasn't. So basically, they saying the son then got a, a samurai sword and he went... And killed his mom, which that ain't what I that ain't what I represent at all. You feel me? I would never promote no shit like that. I love my mom. I'm not with that. Now I, I'm I'm sorry to hear that his mom transcended because I don't know the mom. She she could have been a good soul, spirit fall. I know I don't know, but don't try to. I ain't got nothing to do with that. If he did that, he did that because he did that. That has nothing to do with me. But let's 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 keep reading the article, y'all. Okay. Okay, so we right here. Hubert Washington said his brother-in-law had surgery for his wounds and remains hospitalized. Mobile County Assistant District Attorney Madison Davis said during the defendant's bond hearing Friday that the attack came after a verbal altercation between him and his mother. She said prosecutors have information that the defendant was trying to purchase a gun before buying the sword. We can't. Say definitely whether you know he was planning this attack or if it's something that just got out of control that day, she said after the hearing. Hubert Washam said he does not believe his wife and son argue. So Hubert is the daddy. This is the daddy talking. The daddy said he believes his son, notwithstanding his lack of history of mental health, was not right when he picked up that weapon. He said his son had not contacted the family since his arrest. He said he has spoken to him only once when detectives handed him the phone. He didn't sound like himself, the father said. That's when I realized he possibly had some kind of a mental something going on there. He wasn't making any sense. He sounded crazy. Mobile County Sheriff's Paul Birch said his agency continues to investigate the crime. 
Pay attention to that, y'all. Continues to investigate the crime. He said investigators have not determined a motive and have not determined whether drugs played a role. Legally, he said making those determinations are not necessary. As for whether the defendant is exhibiting signs of mental illness, he said he has no basis to judge whether he, his conduct was unusual compared to his typical behavior. Washam told Fox News 10 that his son, so this is the son, the son told the police when he was in custody, basically, that he had been using cocaine and crystal meth. That's a crystal meth. Thing. Instead, here we go, y'all. Here we go, y'all. Instead, this is the father, y'all. Instead, he placed the blame squarely on the, pay attention to the words, instead, he placed the blame squarely on the videos his son had been watching. He showed one to Fox 10 News made by Jamal Rashad, who has posted a number of Black Power videos on TikTok. I'll read that again. For the people in the back. The father told Fox 10 News that his son told authorities that he had been using cocaine and crystal meth. So basically, they said the son said that he was off cocaine and crystal meth. But the daddy said this is not true. Instead, he placed the blame squarely. You got to pay attention to the words. The father places the blame of his fucking wife and two other people getting killed. Instead, he placed the blame squarely on the videos his son had been watching. He showed, keyword y'all, so he actually showed them people this. He showed one to Fox 10 News made by Jamal Rashad, who has posted a number of Black Power videos to TikTok. We ain't, got to, we ain't got to finish reading that article. Bro. See, that's where it's like. Because I'm a motherfucker's black. And I ain't even gonna lie. You feel me? It's the time and the place to laugh. There wasn't nothing funny about what I just read. And like all that laughing shit, you know what I'm saying? That's why everybody got phones. You feel what I'm saying? Because you could do that behind your phone. But you wouldn't do that in my face, though. I guarantee you wouldn't. See what I'm saying? Because see, I'm, I'm showing a major point right now. I ain't never in my life stood for no unrighteous bullshit like that. See what I'm saying? This man then went and took a sword and killed his mama. Which is the worst despicable shit you could ever do in your motherfucking life is disrespect your mom and your daddy, man. Right? And the daddy want to place it on me. But y'all want me to tell y'all what I think going on? I highly doubt that there was anybody that ever watched a video from Rashad Jamal, Divine Insight, and you became inspired to kill your mama. So you know what that sounds like to me? It's called, when they want to kill you, they start like, they tear down your name first. 
You see what I'm saying? They got to tear your name down to make you look bad to the public. So that when they try to do some harm to you, the public don't give a fuck. You see what I'm saying? You already made up a whole fake case in Georgia. Violated all type of judicial processing. If you wanted these motherfuckers and y'all to believe that y'all law is an action that we are citizens of the, of the country, y'all, my case proves that we not. What constitutional rights? Y'all took my whole everything. So, and when you put them allegations on me, you saying I'm a, you saying I'm a, you saying I'm a pedophile. The very shit I speak against, now I'm a pedophile. Right? And since the pedophile accusation ain't work, right? Because see, y'all still listening, so it ain't work. Now here they come. Now I am the, you see how they can try to put Frank? Rashad Jamal, we heard his name before in, in, a, in a fucking mass murder. That he inspired a mass murder. Oh, okay, let's start watching him more. Now let's build the case against him. And let's make nine more fake stories like that. Now we can be like, hey, he's the leader of a violent cult that is inspiring people to hurt their moms. Right? Notice the reporter didn't have to add he has dozens of black power videos on TikTok. He didn't have to say that. You know why he said that? To alert those oppressors. Black power videos. Wow. Because even though it's not true, you know what they're going to think? Wow. So he has that type of power? Where he's able to affect people like that to get them to go hurt somebody? See what I'm saying? Oh. We got him. You see what I'm saying? And then let me show you something else. As far as to the public. Remember now. A lot of motherfuckers know who Rashad Jamal is. But it's a lot of motherfuckers that don't. So now. Before you even get to the message. I'm not listening to that nigga. That nigga I heard he a motherfucking pedophile. He, I heard he some crazy ass pedophile. Violent pedophile with a coat. He be telling people to go. Kill. They parents and he likes little kids. You see the picture they painting. Do you see the picture they're painting? Now the, the alleged defendant, I don't fucking know him. I ain't never held a conversation with him. Why the fuck is you mentioning my name in the article? Like I live up the street or something. Pay attention to what they're doing. And that also lets you know, like, damn, God. It's him. What other teacher you see going through that? See what I'm saying? What other teacher you see? I don't give a fuck how good the information is they're giving you. Right now on the internet, you don't see no other teacher going to get, get an attack like that. Pay attention to that now too. Pay attention to who really for you. Because if they us, they're going to get attacked. And if they really a problem to them people, they coming for you. Young Pharaoh, he was a problem. You see, when I first reached out to Pharaoh, I was trying to like, because all my followers already had a follow. And they were like, hey, you need to do something with Pharaoh. So I reached out. I already had respect for him. And when I reached out to YP, he disrespected me and his ego. So that's how me and him bumped heads. But we only bumped heads because I reached out to try to bring us together for the betterment of everyone. Because I already knew he had it in him. See what I'm saying? Like I got it in me. We know us. But he always was egoed out and disrespected me. So then when you see me respond publicly, everybody like, oh, where the fuck this come from? But that's a whole Instagram private DM back and forth that took place but with me and Young Pharaoh before it even spilt publicly. And those who followed me understand that. See what I'm saying? Those who've been following from Jump know. Shit, we reached out to him. Shit, we told him hit up Pharaoh. That's a fact. I would never hit up Pharaoh with my followers and say do it. I just respected him from a distance. But check this out. 
That's what they wanted him to do. Because by the time I reached out to YP, they had already started getting the YP with the MK Ultra and fucking with them. They doing, they working magic. They working root work on YP. That's why he acting like that. But I could have helped them, but we never got to talk. So it was like, oh, he was already gone. And then when I responded, I kind of fed into it. So I had to pull myself back from responding like that. That's why I just fell back because I know what he's going through. And then that's why when I tried to pull him on my, on my live a few months ago, everybody was like, why Rashad Jamal ain't all turned? I'm the same energy, motherfucker. But I'm not going to turn up with him. And that's my brother. And I know that they attacked him. So you got to remember. YP I always told y'all this if you was watching YP, man. He say, when I start acting different, that mean they got me. Why everybody ain't see that with YP? Now, YP gonna actually get out there, right? But then when he started fucking with like Nick Cannon and them, this how they got YP. You gotta just stay solid and don't fuck with them. They got too many ways to slide that, slide that energy on you. It's all energy. I'm giving y'all the game. So once YP out the way, now the only motherfucker left is me. They don't care about nobody sitting there behind the computer talking pushing their glasses up. You niggas ain't on a crumb. Because you just talk about a little bit of something, but you ain't going to do nothing. Meanwhile, these young lions, you know what I'm saying? And then I go, like why people tell you with the politics, I'm giving you the politics and the cosmic with the etherics behind it, with all the cosmic history, but then I'm coming with the revolutionary energy like, yeah, this our shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to, ah, get this back. You see what I'm saying? So like, ah, we got YP out the way. Now let's go after Rashad Jamal. And that's exactly what they did. Once they got YP out the way, boom. Now we on Rashad Jamal. With Rashad Jamal and YP out the way, we good. Because ain't nobody else really going to come with that energy. See, it's not what you're saying. It's the energy you present behind what you're saying. Remember, your feelings is what makes shit manifest. Remember, the ran we in. And remember I told y'all, I say, man, I'm the one. I'm Neo. And I said that humbly. But y'all thought I was playing. I'm like, no, I came to awaken the, the unplugged motherfuckers and save the Matrix, right? And that's what I'm doing. But I didn't say what they was going to attack me harder for that. For every soul I unplug, they going to attack me harder for that. Y'all are waking up by the millions out there, man. The numbers on these videos could never show the impact. You got to think, if a video got 80,000, let's say a video do... 30,000 views. If you don't know how many motherfuckers really seen that video, some households, they calling 20 niggas over. You got whole families that come together for this shit on certain days. Oh, facts. You got mama sitting there watching this with their babies. You got fathers watching it with their babies. You got fathers, you got men. I be inspiring niggas to go get back up with their ex to try to make it work. See what I'm saying? The goddesses is too. Because it's real. And then when we get in here, we a family. You're like, damn, everybody vibing high. Yeah, you're going to have people talk your little shit in the comments. And I don't be having no moderator low key because I, I feel like I just want to be organic. You know what I'm saying? Let whoever talk their shit talk their shit. Enjoy yourself. Because I'm enjoying myself kicking this real shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to really enter. Because I get tagged, so I see it. I'm like, damn. Motherfucker watching this shit with they babies. Kids going to school and raising their hand on the teacher like Rashad Jamal said. You see what I'm saying? They feel that energy. Man, who bringing all this energy? Man, who the fuck is this bringing all this energy like this? We can't tell no lies no more. Who the fuck is? We know it's end game, but where the fuck is he coming from? He's on the inside. Because they know our ancestors is channeling through motherfuckers. So once they found out that I'm a beacon, they up, oh, let's attack that beacon. But they don't understand the war that they didn't motherfucking started, though. It was already a war. See, it was already a war. But in the war, you only can fuck with certain people. You start fucking with a divine being. That's how you, that's how, that's how Babylon officially falls all the way. My job ain't done. And do you think the ancestors are going to let my job be done? Do you think my wife don't be in tears hurt that they trying to do this to her husband? Yes. I got to hold my wife. She got to comfort me. It be just me and her once I in live. See, that's what you got to remember at home. Shit, once he get off this live with us, he, it's really just him 
and his wife. So although he got the answer, I got all the ancestors in my spiritual protection with me, but I'm talking to you on a physical level a little bit too. Now think about that. A lot of y'all don't even know that they just lied on me in Alabama. I, I don't even live in Alabama. I, don't, I never met the person. So why is my name, isn't that defamation of character? How is you going to throw my name in a, a national newspaper article? And that ain't no small shit. You send this nigga try to kill three motherfuckers. That's a mass murder. And you got my name tied to it? And if you're going to tie my name, I don't care about you saying black power videos. That's me all day. You got damn right. That's me all day. You feel me? But when you get the... He inspired... Someone to hurt their family. That ain't who I am. That's not even my message. So now you done took my whole brand and contorted the fuck out of my message. So now I'm a pedophile, a conspiracy theorist, and a violent occult leader. That's what y'all gonna label me as? Because y'all that scared of the message. Ain't no need to be trying to sue nothing. Y'all know how they coming. When it's me. I'm him. He who they fear. Every message I get y'all, man. This shit. Y'all don't even have a clue how deep it is I be revealing. Y'all don't really know. If y'all did, y'all fuck around. We'll be in my crib all day. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't have to tell you. You'd just be there. Facts. Because if you could go look at these FBI hitting files and see it for yourself... And then be like, how the fuck God knew that? I know they, you know they ain't showed the shit to me. Then you'll be like, damn. Oh, he really, channel, he really one of them. Oh. And he trying to remind us, his role was to come to activate us. Nobody else could have did it. Because everybody else was scared. You know how many motherfuckers know the same shit we be here talking about, but they don't have, they scared they scared to say this shit, y'all. Huh. I done told y'all all about these people parties and shit, that shit they be on. You know how many motherfuckers be watching this channel and they don't say shit. Boy, so many celebrities watching this shit on the low, but they can't say it publicly because they don't want to lose their record deals. They don't want to lose their endorsements. But they know this shit real, though. Bro, I love, I ain't did number cast out divine love, nigga, on the planet. Boy, look how they building up that low vibrational energy, though. See what I'm saying? Oh, what's that? She gonna try to hit me with a RICO charge? A federal? See what I'm saying? You gonna try to hit me with a federal RICO charge and say I'm... Oh, you're going to try to stop the rallies, too. Think about that. Oh, we're going to go to the next rally in. Just like my baby mama lied on me. Did the reporter not just lie on me? Drop a nine if I'm lying. Drop a nine if it's the truth. Drop a three if I'm lying. Feel me? I'm showing y'all something. Just like anybody that know me and know my character know I would never indulge in no pedophilia, right? Just like any of y'all that know me because y'all watching me know goddamn well, I ain't never gave that message. But look how he reported that to the news. That's the news, nigga. Fox, nigga. <laughs> That's Fox. You know, they all go, Fox, see any? That's Fox 10. Did he not just flat out lie on me? Yes. That's a whole lie. And I really don't think that that should even happen. Because nobody that watches my lectures will ever be inspired to go do some dumb shit. My shit inspire you to get on your shit and stand strong in your purpose on your on this planet as gods and goddesses. Or as a high vibrational human being. That's what I teach in here, man. That's what we come to. That we know what we is, who we is, what we own. But like I told you, damn. The CIA, the CIA called me a leader. So they studied my lectures. They admire how I'm thinking. 
They somewhat eating mangoes, letting my speeches tango. They want to know how I know. Stargates is rainbows. These, these are disclosed files. How the fuck does he know this? And about them underground cities they own and shit. About the Mach 5 synthetic clones and shit. How does he know that? This nigga Jesus. This nigga like Jesus all over again. Because if you go look at Jesus' story, you got to pay attention to Jesus' story. They was trying to kill him in the whole gospel for the same shit I'm doing today. He wasn't fake. He wouldn't just sell out and hang with all the rich motherfuckers. He was hanging with the bums, the pimps, the streets. I'm still with the streets. Like, I'm, I got to say to motherfuckers who don't know this shit. If you already know this shit, cool. We rising. But I'm back to them because they don't know. You know, so you good now. See what I'm saying? They can't come to me and say, hey, Rashad Jamal, this person did this. We want to stone him to death. Because I'm going to tell them like Jesus. Do you not have crust in your own eye? America? You, America, British Royals, any country, y'all ain't in position to charge nobody with nothing. Y'all came and stole a whole planet, G, a whole realm. Murdered all our ancestors. Y'all ain't go to court for that. Rape. <laughs> Raped everybody, including the animals. Y'all ain't go to jail for that. Pedophilia? Are you serious, Pizzagate? Y'all literally kidnapping, been kidnapping our babies for forever. Y'all ain't going to jail for that. Y'all just getting karma for that. Drug dealers? But America, you're the biggest drug dealer there is. How you gonna get Big Meech all that time in jail like you ain't get Big Meech the drugs? And once again, y'all didn't go to jail for that. Guns, murk, gun. You supply the guns, America. <laughs> and y'all didn't go to jail for that. So who did y'all really build the jails for? Us. Why would y'all build the jails for us? Because this is our planet that y'all took from us. Police. Fuck the police. They don't care about us. The police don't want crime to stop. How? This how they put food on a motherfucking table. So if all the crime stop that y'all say is crime, how are the police officers going to eat? What case is the district attorney going to have? What case is the lawyers going to have? Ain't going to be no judges neither. Niggas need cases. Your entire business is based around niggas having cases. Y'all don't want crime to stop. You promote crime. You won't even sign a nigga if he want to rap about some high vibrational shit. If I ain't calling my, my goddesses bitches in every, in every bar and I ain't saying how many niggas I killed and shot, shit, y'all gonna say my shit trash. That nigga trash. She can't rap. Y'all want violence. And why? Because you are against nature. And we represent nature. So when I'm coming and I'm enlightening our people to this, you can't stand that. After all, you did make me forget who I was too, Zeus, for a second. And with all my energy in it and, 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 and magnetism to attract other souls to me, you almost had me. I used to run the streets shooting niggas. Robbing motherfuckers, gang banging in Chicago. I was the wildest motherfucker, one of the wildest motherfuckers in my neighborhood. 
Go ask anybody from Division of Noble, 1100 in Chicago. A nigga lying, say I went not pull up and smack, pistol whip the shit out of him. Just to remind him. See what I'm saying? It's a fact. That's a fact. So it was a time when he had me too like that. And you know what they can't stand to see? They don't like when the warriors wake up. They don't like that they can't take it. And like, anybody can wake up but the street niggas. We can't let the gangsters wake up because then they wake up, they gonna keep that same energy. But they gonna be at with us with it. And that's what you get when you get the physical life that I that Rashad Jamal has experienced. That's what you watching right here. A motherfucker that was used as a tool and a pawn to hurt my own people. And then to realize, because I had to go to jail. I had to sit in there and face life in jail to remember. I had to go and sit with motherfuckers who wasn't never getting out. Who already had life sentences. And listen to them talk. And all they talked about was how much they missed their mom, their wives, their girlfriends. That street shit, fun when you, 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 you just catching cases and you coming and going. But when you got a real case, you got to sit down. Man, these people trying to give me 55 years. I got to get in the law library. School, old school trying to tell me like, I was way younger when I got locked up. Man, young blood, you got to calm down. You got to, that ain't the way. I'm doing life in Menard right now. I ain't never coming home. You got a chance. You got to go out there and you get your second chance. Make something of yourself. You got a voice. You got influence. You got to go save the streets. You got to go get them. A lot of motherfuckers can't tell you that story. You know how many motherfuckers never said, bro. Most motherfuckers go to jail and they cop out. You don't know how many people never really sat in trial and fought for their life, bro. I had to go to trial. Five day jury trial. On my first degree attempt murder charge. You look at shit different, man. You know how many people like, damn, he got out and changed. He a lame now. He a square boy. I still blow your motherfucking brains out your head and sleep good if you fuck with me and what I love. But guess what? I'm not finna let you trick me back into that shit. It ain't even about jail. It's about the energy of hurting my own people. Hurt my own planet. You think I always call these our women goddesses? Nah, they was they was bad bitches to me too at one time. I didn't always see us and be like, peace, God. Nah, it was. Who the fuck is him? He the enemy. I don't know him. You ain't from the block. You ain't GD. Who is that nigga? I don't know that nigga. You ain't killer clan, you ain't clan, you ain't GD, you ain't from the block, you ain't 1100, fuck you. I was him before. You see what I'm saying? See, you gotta know why they fear what I tell y'all. See what I'm saying? They know that a major part of the low vibration comes from all our younger gods and goddesses not knowing who the fuck they is and our people not knowing and the elderly not really knowing because they ain't tell them. And if they do know, it was old energy on the planet so motherfuckers scared. You know how many motherfuckers 
y'all great grandmamas and great aunties and great granddaddies and niggas was deep into magic and just didn't pass the shit down through the family? So now when you hear it today, hoodoo, hoodoo, you scared. You don't even know your great grandmama was in this shit. You don't even know. Because they, they put a fear into our people. So, I really, I really, I know what it's like. Because although I came down here to the divine being to walk in these shoes, man, like I told you about this matrix, the light cold lockdown is real. So it's not unheard of for us to go through a, a moment in, in time where we are controlled by this light cold lockdown. And we are, our third eye is shut. So, we out here being something that we not. That's really what the fuck a zombie is, man. They show you zombies on movies. Well, I'm talking from the soul. You see tears flowing down my face right now. You, they show you zombies in movies. But really, uh, yo, you the zombie, man. If you walking around and you don't know who the fuck you is. And you ain't got no purpose. And you ain't walking in your purpose. You a motherfucking zombie just floating around out here, man. You just floating. Just right here floating. Going to work. Following that goofy ass man-made laws. Chasing money. You ain't made no energetic contribution to the motherfucking planet. Because when you make your money, you spend that shit on yourself. You ain't putting no energy back. You just taking and taking and take it. You ain't giving shit back. You listen, you won't even go piss outside. You don't even want to get your no urine, no plasma back. Only the real girl relate. You ain't even trying to get no plasma back. You scared to do that. Motherfuckers scared to do that. Just taking and taking and taking and taking like the planet ain't alive. She alive. She alive. Motherfuckers taking. You taking this fucking lecture is a motherfucking joke problem. See what I'm saying? Just take it. But what are you, what are you giving though? What are you giving? What are you giving though? Excuses, negative energy, but guess what? If you don't believe in you, I believe in you though, because I know who you is. That's what I come in at. To be like, look, if you ever run across me, I'm gonna I'm tell you who you is. I don't give a fuck if you want to hear it. You shouldn't have ran across me. Universe gonna put you on my path, because that's my job. You see what I'm saying? My job is to go. Get that virus out the zombies. Because it can be removed. It can be removed now. You feel me? And they fear that. They fear it. They man, we ain't seeing this type of energy since Tucson L over to it. We know how he was coming. But that's me though. That was my past life. I couldn't find Wait, that. Man, shut the that. fuck up. You see that? You see the, this old... Oh, press is how they working and shit. You feel me? Told y'all artificial intelligence is motherfuckers inside your phones and shit. You feel me? Like real shit. You got to pay attention, bro. You have to pay attention to what goes on when it comes to Rashad Jamal, man. So you can see. Because that's my purpose. To wake you up, man. And they fear it. Because once again, it's the energy. So now they know who I am. Really? You see what I'm saying? Talking and shit, eating it. That's one thing. It's the energy. But, oh, okay. We know exactly who that is. Because they know we reincarnate, nigga. So they not stupid. They're like, oh, we know that energy. We didn't felt that energy before. That nigga dangerous. 
We got to try to attack him definitely for he start fully shifting. Get what I'm saying? We connected. They ain't felt this energy since Nat Turner was on the planet. Feel me? Shaka Zulu, nigga. You hear me? Che Guevara, nigga. Feel me? Asada Shakur, nigga. You feel me? They feel me. Fred Hampton. Feel me? Larry Hoover. Jeff Ford. Queen Khalifa. Gullah Wars. They know the energy. And that's what they fear. See what I'm saying? Because they know that I'm him. He who came and woke up the whole fucking planet up and led his people to victory as Babylon fucking failed, nigga. He who spited all the nations just with his throat chakra. And there's no fear there. They know it. They know it. They know they got to kill me. We got to. We got to try. Because he a problem. I ain't got no chaos energy for nobody vibrating high. But for them oppressors and anything vibrating low that ain't trying to get out of that energy, that's what it is with me. I can't help myself. I, I, I don't know how to be nobody but who the fuck I came to be. And they fear that. They fear it. You say I can sit here and let my soul pour out like that? They don't like that. That's too real. Now I'm showing the now I'm showing the gods it's okay to cry. It's okay to let that shit out your soul. That don't make you weak. That make you strong. Because you're acknowledging vibrations. And divine cosmic love is no pure energy. If you my brother, I should be. I know I can cry in front of my sister. See what I'm saying? It's natural for a goddess to bro, oh, come here. But can I can I cry in front of my brother? If you my brother, I should be able to cry in front of you, and you ain't gonna look at me different. Not no real brother. You see what I'm saying? This shit hurt my soul, y'all. You got to feel me out there. You got to feel me. Even me understanding what the fuck going on, this shit still hurt my soul. Feel me? I, I, can't, I can't hide that. Ain't no lead needing me try to put no lecture topic to talk about today because that ain't how the fuck I felt today. I wasn't even going to talk about the Alabama shit. And so I said, nah, you got to get on there. You got to paint that. You got to paint that. And then we'll let you know what else to talk about. Facts. Because all I could do, y'all, is stand 10 toes. And as long as y'all know, they can't paint no frivolous nothing. Motherfucker, I mean, they was fucking with God for a minute. You feel me? And he ain't no... He did, he one of them, so he shocked Zulu with they ass. He tch, ain't no fold and ain't no sh whatever it's gonna be. That's why I told y'all, I said, hey, in the event of my untimely demise, don't let my energy go in vain that I put on the planet. Cause I can't stop them from attacking me, and I ain't gonna not attack back. And I know who's staying with me. I know my ancestors with me, but you feel me? That ain't what the energy gonna be. That ain't what the story gonna be. See what I'm saying? If that's if it's gonna be a storyline, it's gonna be he came, he enlightened, they tried to do him like they did everybody else, and he took a bunch of motherfuckers with him. 
And after that, the whole planet went up. Everything. Shit just started crumbling. Literally, like, niggas think they seeing tornadoes and earthquakes. You think you seeing nature attack? I'm one with nature. You think nature don't love Rashad Jamal? When so very few people even embrace her? I'm reminding people to go back to her. Why wouldn't she hold me down? That's nature. We ain't even got to bring fire and the elements and water and air. and We ain't got to bring that in. We ain't got to mention the animals and the insects and the birds and the real ones and everything else. Did I speak for them too? I don't just speak for them. I speak for the planet and everything vibrating high. I want peace for all. That's why the fuck I said don't just be stepping on the motherfucking ants when you see them. Speak. Hey, how you doing? Keep it going. Step over them. Go out your way to step over them. Acknowledge his life force. Because you connected to him. There is no separation. We the insects, the animals, the plants, the, the, the bushes that's left that we call trees, the tree stumps that they call mountains, the minerals, the soil, we everything. I am everything and everything is me. I'm forever divinely protected and thus it shall be. That's why I say that. I am everything and everything is me. And I know when a motherfucker making an attack on my life, you had motherfuckers like, what, what God doing? Why he ain't giving no lectures? You more worried about me giving a lecture than riding with me. That's how fake you is. See what I'm saying? Like that, hold on, hold on, hold on. They come in like that. We even lost too many leaders. We know what they be on. Uh, no, we ain't for none of that. What's up? You see what I'm saying? Now, you did have some motherfuckers that was like, hey, man, God, shit, we with you. Now, I'm behind you. I'm not talking to everybody. You get what I'm saying? But it should have been everybody. It ain't everybody. It's some of us. It ain't everybody. When it should have been everybody. And them same motherfuckers that ain't gonna ride to be quick to want to get in here and feed off some energy, though. Oh, you changed my life. You check. Well, why the fuck? What's up? I put my life on the line for you, for us. Who you think I'm doing this for? You know, that's just like you in the streets, you know what I'm saying? You go to the club or some shit. You know, you front line. Like, yeah, man, nobody finna touch my homie. Joe, y'all got us fucked about here, boy. You try to touch bro, we gonna send this bitch to the moon. You all in the front. They bone rush. You get to fighting. You like, hold on, why I'm getting my ass whooped? Because it didn't happen to me before. You feel me? You know how it be? It's always the little nigga first to go. Y'all know how it be. Y'all know we like chihuahuas, nigga. We be thirsty. Like, nigga, what? Bah! I'm, I'm swinging first. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here too, nigga. You feel me? Nigga, all of a sudden, I just feel Air Force Ones. Oh, damn. Where the fuck folks in the man? <laughs> Where everybody go. You look up, you, you just see the back of niggas, niggas feet. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, y'all gonna do me like you know what I'm saying? I'm the main nigga thing. I'm thinking we all gonna ride. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm going harder for y'all because I'm riding with you. You feel me? I'm nigga, you ain't finna do nothing to him, you feel me? You know, I, I, I just set the club up. Now I'm just getting bottles. Where everybody go. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got stabbed in, I got stabbed in jail eight times. I got stabbed right here in the face. My all this was hanging off. I got stabbed right here. You feel me? This I stayed permanently damn near baggy because this wasn't even baggy before that incident. Before I got stabbed, I got stabbed right here, right here, right here, right like eight times in the head right here. And guess how? Riding for folks in them. Riding for folks in them. Latin folks got into some shit. We was GD, so we got to ride with the Latin folks. But me, I was. GD crazy. You hear me? So it was like, damn, they fucking one Latin fuck me. Y'all got us. If I come out my shirt in the day room, it's like, hold on. I get off the phone. Like, hold on. Fuck what y'all trying to do? You, instead of letting them go, like, instead of letting the actual Latino that got into it, one of the Latino gods, I think he was like a LaRaza or some shit. For y'all who don't know Chicago politics, all the Latin gangs is basically like Latin folks. And then you got BDs and GDs. That's our politics. And then on the other side, you got the Breeze. And they pick and choose. 
who they want to go with. And then on the other side, you got you got the Vice Wars, they 22-12, Finball rolling, all that shit. Feel me? I'm not trying to turn to no less shit about gang politics. I'm not trying to promote it. But yeah, though. Facts. Right, I ain't whack 100. He an old, old school clown to me. You feel me? Because I just be hearing him and everything he says is just low vibration. Like, come on, man, you 50. You only talking about the same. Well, bro, you on this, you on clubhouse like you 19 and a half, like you'll be 20 next next Thursday. Boy, you 50 and a half. We'll be 51 next week. The fuck is you doing? You feel me? But yeah, at the end of the day, my point I'm making is this. I'm motherfucking, you know, riding hard for these niggas. I mean, hold on, that's one of the Latin folks. So I, instead of me like, since he want to fight, he didn't want to fight, they wanted to fight the little Latin folks. Oh, okay. Instead of him, instead of me jumping out there, I should let him swing first, and then I, 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 I help. Nah, my, my old big hard over loyal ass. You know me, up, cause I'm like we all the folks. You feel me? I'm on the phone like. I'm like, hold on. And then the nigga that was trying to fight him was bigger than him. Cause you know in jail we give all the little niggas the knives. Like I'm a little nigga, but I'm not like a little little nigga. It's a difference, you know what I'm saying? You got like your five ones, five two, five three. I'm five eight. I ain't that little. You know, LaRaza had to be like five two. You know what I'm saying? Five three. You know what I'm saying? He one of them little littles. You feel me? So I'm like the nigga that wanted to fight him, like a little taller than me. So I'm like, I can't let it go down like that. You know, I'm like, man, what what are you on? What you, bro? What you trying to fight for? Oh, that when we doing one love, what y'all trying to do? We just send this bitch up. There we go. But I, my, my, my celly swing at the fight, and nigga, I run over there like try to look at his fight because I'm like, damn, he just knocked him out. I look up, nigga, stabbed me in the face. Now we fighting. All this, we didn't got stabbed up. End of the fight. Guess who went to the hospital? Just us three. Two GDs. Three GDs. Ain't none of and not one maniac rode. It was a Latin phone named Maniac. He was one of the maniacs. He rode. Folks rode. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to the maniacs. Folks rode. I ain't gonna lie. Cause he the one told me I was staying. Like, gee, folk, they stabbed you, bro. He was Puerto Rican. Folk, they stabbed you, G. I'm like, damn, I was leaking. Right? But it's 12 niggas on the floor. 12 of us, and it turns into four of us fighting 12 of them. Because they all fell back. I wouldn't have got stabbed up like that. If everybody helped, I got stabbed in my back, in my face with different blades. If you look at this wound in my face and look at the wounds back here, them two different wounds. This was a flat piece. This was a, what we call a poker. Like you just poke straight through the flat piece, like a fucking, fucking butcher knife. You know what I'm saying? That they be making in jail. So yeah, how the fuck I get stabbed so much? Cause niggas ain't help. If everybody help, ain't no way. They just over there stabbing me up like that. You get what I'm saying? You ain't for this. You just help. You're a body. You see what I'm saying? But it's always like that. That's how it is now. You know me, y'all. I just let it. We the gods. Y'all got us fucked up. It's our planet. Our land. We ain't honoring shit. Okay, well, you know, we'll get violent. Well, let's get violent then. Now, turn. You feel me? Turn around. Niggas like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. God was dropping some good shit, but I gotta get up out of there. We're gonna roll over here. We're gonna go listen to somebody else who, who, who isn't as serious about this revolution. It's got a little too motherfucking serious. Well, we can fight here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That ain't everybody, but shit. That's a lot of motherfuckers later. Now niggas looking for reasons. Well, you know, maybe he did do it. Get your bitch ass out of here. Because you scared. You know what? That last lecture he gave, I really, I really didn't like that one like that. Now that it's real, now niggas, oh damn, I don't know if I, you know, let me unsubscribe, girl, because I don't know, you know what I'm saying, he was, I thought the nigga was just another nigga on YouTube being funny, this shit ain't got real, girl, bitch, we gotta go over here and listen to him now. <laughs> you know how you, you feel me though, you know what I'm saying, me, I'm so gangster, I don't give a fuck though, I'ma still stay in my same, like, okay, that's what it is, I ain't worried about it, motherfucker go, this name ain't gonna never die in vain, you hear me? Motherfucker gonna know, like, you ain't gonna never be able to be like, he ain't come and make a change on the planet and stand ten toes when they tried to fuck with him. And we ain't never seen that. We always see them come, nigga stand, nigga make a change, and then he just get assassinated. Or nigga make a change, nigga get hauled off to jail forever. You don't hear him again. Free Dr. York, you see what I'm saying? Free Yahweh be Yahweh, you don't never hear him again, you feel me? Free Matolo, free Matolo Shakur, nigga Larry Hoover, Jeff Ford, all the guys, nigga, all the political prisoners, nigga. 
You feel me? And take a Sada off. She's 74 years old. Y'all still got Sada on y'all most wanted list for what? Take her off. Y'all ain't caught her. Y'all ain't gonna catch her, nigga. Leave her alone, nigga. Y'all know y'all was fucking with them. Y'all trying to play this shit like y'all ain't never did nothing to us, man. Now, 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 now I got a coat. R. Kelly had a sex coat. Rashad Jamal has a, has a violent coat. What the fuck is wrong with these niggas from Chicago? Why these niggas always end up being some occultists or, or in a coat or some shit? You see what I'm saying? You feel the picture they trying to paint? And then you got to remember, I'll come out of Chicago, born and raised my whole life. I moved out here, what, like 23, 24, then went back to Chicago, then came back after I did all that time in jail. I ain't no nigga that was born in Chicago, then moved to Atlanta when I was three. I'm Chicago, Chicago, nigga. Don't get it twisted. I'm just not fucking with my city because ain't shit in my city for me. You know what I'm saying? What I want to do, go to jail? I have to kill a nigga? I'm cool. I'm cool. You see what I'm saying? I'm not knocking nobody still there, but it ain't for me because being in that motherfucker ain't do shit but them to take my motherfucking life. So you should feel where I'm coming from. Anybody from Chicago, like that, why him be in the city no more? Nigga, I didn't have lost my life in the city. Fuck what I'm doing in the city. I done did everything in the city. I don't need to be there. It's a whole world to explore, nigga. See what I'm saying? I can't be my best self right there. I'm going to revert back to the spell work. See what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Do I love my city? You got damn right. Shout out to the go. Always going to be from there. Always going to love it. But I'll be damn, nigga. I don't even know why niggas rappers do that. Niggas, niggas get rich and go post in the hood for what? For what? I ain't got shit to prove. And I ain't coming back. So don't ask me. When you coming back? Never. Fuck you, be. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker ain't did shit for me. But put heart in me. Now, I love the what Chicago gave me. That's why I get my fearlessness from. That's why I get my tell you how I feel from. You know what I'm saying? My survival on this realm from my being on point. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my street wits all day. I get all that from the city. but And I love the city for that. But I ain't on nothing else. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I'll stay my distance. And, and I advise you to do the same if you, if you make it out. I technically made it out, nigga. I wasn't supposed to be here right now. I made it out. You see what I'm saying? Fuck am I going back in for? I got out of there. You know what I'm saying? There's no need for me to. Hey, I'm going over. Flash back in again. I already been in that pond. You know? Because niggas be standing in that pond. They want a damn guy. You acting different when you coming back to the city. Boy, I will throw your ass a life raft. <laughs> you hear me? You better grab that bitch and come on. I'll pull you to me, nigga. What you want to life raft me back there for? We surrounded by sharks. Nigga, fuck I need to be. Hey. Scuba gear on. You hear me? All right. Drop the anchor. I'm going over. Psh. Feet going up. That's all you see. Fuck that. You feel me? I'll life raft a nigga all day, though. You better catch it. And you better not pull too hard. I'm going to think you're trying to pull me back in. I'm letting the rope go. I'm letting the rope go. I'm letting you know that. So, nigga, grab the rope. Uh, let. Uh, nice and smoothly. Tread. Don't be. Don't be getting all panicky. You can. Uh, tread on over. Grab the rope. You get to getting too aggressive with the rope. I'm letting go. You ain't finna. I'm trying to pull you in. You want to give a tug. Now, oh. No. No, <laughs> you hear me? You know what I'm saying? No, and I advise y'all to do the same. I'm just being real. If you come out of a violent or a fucked up situation and you get out, you're blessed to get out. Gee, what the fuck is you going back for? What you got to prove? Oh, I'm a bitch because I don't, I don't hang out no more and 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 and, and rob and shoot at my own people and let y'all send me off. Well, I'll just be a bitch. And hopefully you don't believe that and see me and try no shit. Then I got to remind you. But other than that, shit, I could be a bitch however you want me to be. I'll be the bitchest nigga in the world. Nigga, I ain't got nothing to prove. <laughs> I'll go, nigga. Why, why niggas still want to be that nigga a bitch? I'm still out here with the sharks. Okay, cool. You see me right on the motherfucking jet ski. Speed by. Fuck that.
Fuck you mean, you feel me? You, 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 you. And I'ma stand up on your ass. You hear me? That's all you gonna see, nigga. I'ma be. You know how it be when they go on the jet skis, the waves be bouncing, you be. That's all you gonna see, I'ma. Then I'ma. You hear me? No life vest on, cause I don't need it. The water I'm swimming in ain't no sharks. Nigga, I don't need no vest. And if I fall in that water, I'm it's, I'm a float regardless. You see what I'm saying? Niggas be trying to prove points. Niggas be trying to prove shit. The only thing I'm here to prove is that we are greater than what they told us we was. You know? And I had to alert the people that genuinely got true cosmic love for me. A lot of y'all do. So y'all can know what's really going on. How they trying to play with my name. See what I'm saying? How they trying to play with my name. See what I'm saying? They own it. You hear me? They own it. I done made it to Fox News, y'all. That's big, y'all. That's not little. But the shit they putting it there for is even bigger. That's what you got to pay attention to. It's almost like Tupac mama told him. You remember that part when, when Afeni told Pac? He ain't want to listen, though. She was like, boy, the president just mentioned your name. Y'all remember that scene in Pac, the movie? Nah, real shit, bro. You got to understand it's the difference. Us being on YouTube, them kicking us off YouTube, that's one thing. They just put my name in a Fox News article. That's, that's a different level right there. You got to see what's going on now. Like, oh, shit. Okay. That's different. Kicking us off here. Blocking us. Come on now. What other teacher you know right now name is getting mentioned for Black Power videos with Fox News? And we know how they feel about people that be on a Black Power shit. Public enemy number one. I am him. That's a fact. That's a motherfucking fact. Fox? News. And for that, a triple murder. You connect my name to it. Oh, well, I, I know I just, the father. No, hell no. I blame Rashad Jamal. Ain't no real father gonna do that. That's how I know they concocted the whole fucking newspaper article. That event ain't even take place. Because anybody watching me would not be inspired to do that. I can't even get niggas to meditate all the way yet. You know how many motherfuckers watch this shit? And still don't be meditating or working on themselves. They come to hear it every day because they learn and learn and learn it. They feel the energy. But then after here, they still be like, ah, oh, they might not. They still learn it, right? So you're not going to get us to believe, I, I... I inspired nigga to kill their mom and two motherfuckers in the house. That ain't my work. See what I'm saying? But yet, you attach my name to it. And you wasn't worried about a lawsuit. Ooh. Because that's technically in their court of law. That's defamation of character, slander. But for you to type that, I know you know that. That's a reporter. You ain't just start reporting shit. And you ain't worried about no motherfucking lawsuit. So what you know, that we don't know. Who sent you? Who told you write the article? Manufactured the lie. Slander my name. And not just my name, but what I stand for. My entire motherfucking creed. My mama done pissed me off a million times. I ain't never put my hands on her, never called out her name. You serious? So like I say, it's just like when a Finney told Pac. He wasn't trying to listen. They mentioned the president, mentioned Tupac Shakur. I blame Tupac Shakur's music. She called him. He came to the house. She was like, we need to talk. He was like, mom, what's up? Now listen now, I want you to 
be real smart with your moves and and be and be careful how you moving. Pac like, man, mom, good. She like, boy, the president just mentioned your name. Let me pull it up. Let me remind motherfuckers. I can't play it loud, but y'all gotta remember that scene. She told him, she said. They gonna use everything you love to try to tear you down. After they said his name, on the president said his name. That's heavy, y'all. The Fox News lie is heavier than what the fuck my baby mama lied about. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see if I can pull it up, y'all. Yep. Yeah, the movie was called All Eyes on Me. It's right here. Is this the part? No, nah, they was in the living room. This ain't even a part. They tricked me. They finessed me, y'all. Yeah, that ain't the scene. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it, family. Let me see if I can find it for y'all. But it's OG. She basically told him, like, it was after the president said his name. I don't know where it's at. Y'all got to watch the movie for y'all self. But if y'all haven't seen it. But yeah, his mom told him that because she came out of that era. So she already knew. If any already knew all the tactics. You feel me? Yeah, fuck that shit. I can't find it. Y'all watch that shit on y'all. Oh, this is a movie though. Go watch All Eyes on Me. But that's kind of what that just felt like. Like somebody on Instagram sent it to me because I didn't even get to see who sent it because when I seen it, I clicked in. They were like, you seeing this? I'm like, what? So shout out to whoever that was on IG that sent it to me. But no. When I seen that article in Fox on Fox News, I was like, I'm like, damn. I was like, 
like that. I was like, I'm like that. I was like, I'm like that. Everything I ever told y'all, everything I ever told y'all was the truth. I didn't lie to you about a crumb. Drop a nine if y'all still hear me though. My phone had my phone had died. That wasn't even them. I ain't gonna lie on them. my phone died. Okay, so for those who hear me, man, I just I I made this live just so y'all could really know, like what's taking place, what's taking place, and what's going on. Um. They almost didn't want me to give y'all this lecture. I appreciate the nines. I see y'all. They almost didn't want me to give y'all this lecture because you see they kicked me off YouTube the first time. You feel me? So, basically, because they doing all this type of shit, I'm just moving with the ancestors. Like, if they tell me to teach publicly, I'm teaching. You feel me? They tell me don't say nothing, I ain't saying nothing. But what I'm going to do, I'm definitely going to teach on the website regardless. You feel me? Like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, regardless. You hear what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to know that, you know what I'm saying? So you might want to join that website, www.theuci.online. You hear me? I'm going to be on that regardless. Uh, I can't guarantee we're going to be on here next Sunday. We're just going to play it. We're going to play it by energy. You feel me? We're going to play it by the energy. We'll have the energy ride. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. If the ancestors like, hey, go ahead. Get on there. We go on here. We getting on here. You feel me? If they like, no, cool, fall back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to fall back. But... I did want to give y'all this live so y'all can know what them tweets was about. I put some tweets out and people might not have known. So it's more about me wanting to be all the way on point and just being in a in a in a mode of preparation for for what could possibly be. You know, I still feel like I got a lot of work to do. So, you know, at the end of the day, I gotta prepare for all angles though, because it's war. It's a war. So that's why I'm not just gonna be on here public as, as public as much as I used to. Because I got to be, like, in a certain mental space. You know what I'm saying? In a certain mental space. Keeping myself alert and ready at all times. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I've taught enough. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like I ain't, I told y'all a lot. And, I mean, it's still a lot more to teach. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's enough. It's more than enough out here. You feel me? Uh, hopefully, they lead this channel up, too. Because, you know, we know how they play. But if they do ever try to take the channel, I'm putting all the videos on my website. I back up all these videos. So, and I pay for that website out of my pocket. I paid for the app, like $1,200 to get the app. But I already paid. The crazy thing, y'all, is I paid for the app. And now I got to deal with this extra, extra shit, extra pressure from the oppressors. So now I don't know if I could focus on the app like that. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, me... 
Thug into the casket, bitch. What the rapper say? You know me, thug into the casket, bitch. So, I had to make y'all alert. All the gods and goddesses of what's going on. Why I put them tweets out there. So, you, you, you understand what's going on. You feel me? She said it was on the news. Hell yeah, I was on the news. Uh, Who was this? And 411, you was on the news. Yeah, Alabama, they attached my name to the news. Talking about, uh, uh and that's the crazy thing, y'all. The album is officially done, too, for everybody that was like, what's up with the album? To all my true supporters that's fucking with the high vibrational music, the album done. But now I'm trying to see what's up with the energy. You know what I'm saying? We got a rally set up for 2-22-22. I got to rethink all that now because I'm like, shit, I don't want to set the rally up and run it the same way I did last time. Last time, I just had motherfuckers pull up. You know what I'm saying? Because it was up there, but it's different when like they start trying to put cases on you for real, for real, and then they get the attaching your name, the shit that ain't got nothing to do with you, lying and shit like that. Oh, it get different. It's time to move a little different. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely time to move a little different. You feel me? When I see shit like that, I, I, I'm I too in tune not to know what they own. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, uh, come on, man. That's that's two plus two for me. I'm like, check them out. That old petty ass chess move they just made. So, you know. But it's all love. Y'all know what's going on. So y'all going to spread the word from there. You see what I'm saying? It's, millions, it's thousands of people that was on this live. You know what I'm saying? And... 4,000 deep at a point until they just cut up. My phone died. We dropped down. But it's going to be, listen, everybody on here, what I want y'all to do is spread the mat, spread that word far and wide. Like, man, we got a, it's it's a revolutionary on the planet named Rashad Jamal. And I've been watching this young brother for a couple years or a couple months. And I just see he genuinely for the people. He not racist. He not sexist. He don't care if you gay. I don't care about none of that shit because that has nothing to do with your vibration. So all the gay people that watch me, y'all spread the word too. All the high vibrational white people, human being that understand the message and watch me spread the word. All you in other countries, yo, just spread the word of how they trying to handle me right now. That's all you got to do. You ain't got to do nothing if you don't do nothing. And don't get me wrong. It's the steppers in here too. I already know the steppers, the steppers turned. The steppers in the comments turned. They nigga, fuck all that. You know what it is. You know how we coming. But you know we got sections of the university, y'all. You know everybody ain't part of the war. It's like the it's like the fruit of Islam, right? Everybody wasn't everybody in the fruit of Islam wasn't wasn't on that bodyguard team. You get what I'm saying? But it, it's still one, nevertheless. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their roles to play. You feel me? So you know, of course, the real steppers like yeah, you know what it is. We know what it is. But for the people that's not the steppers, and even the steppers, you feel me? Just spread the word. That's all you got to do. Just spread the word and spread the information and let them know how they trying to attack this messenger. And those is international. But like, man, we got a messenger on the planet. We have a divine messenger on the planet right now. And they trying to do the same thing to him we've seen done to everybody else who came and walked that path. We've seen, it ain't like we ain't seen this before now, especially in here. We the high vibrationals now. We woke now. We didn't seen this before, y'all. It ain't this ain't this ain't this ain't. And like I always told people, don't watch me and be like, oh, well, I'm gonna do the same thing he doing, and it ain't gonna be no pressure with that. No, this is a real live thing. And you better know, all the ancestors, they turn, they with everything. You better know that. But I love y'all, because I love myself. And y'all are me, and I am y'all. Me and my wife, my family, we love y'all. We sending y'all number of peace, blessings, the deepest of insight. But tap into these meditations, move within this chaos energy, man. You feel me? And go back and watch as many lectures as you can. You hear me? But when you watch them, you should be watching them different now. Like, damn, hold on. I got God. I get what he was saying. But hold on. He really disclosing they shit. That's why they doing it. They just put God name in a whole triple murder. You just mentioned my name with a triple murder. Or a murder in fucking two attempts. Same shit. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to do with Rashad Jamal and know my energy or nothing. But you mentioned you tied my name to it. Even though they said the son, the son ain't said it had nothing to do with me. They said the son told the police he was high. Okay, I don't support the use of cocaine in this motherfucker either. Or no motherfucking crystal meth. So he definitely wasn't watching me. 
How you watching me high? He wasn't learning shit high. So, of course, he might have heard some shit and did some crazy shit. If he did, watch it. He was high. Fuck. So, yeah, everybody stay, stay dangerous. We're going to go definitely stay dangerous, Reflection. You feel me? Definitely stay dangerous. You hear me? But look, man, peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. Like I said, now we rise. That's real. We ain't let nothing stop the rise. We ain't let nothing stop the move, nigga. And if we could turn up for George Floyd, we definitely could turn up behind this. Feel me? If we could turn, because I was out there for George Floyd, and I ain't George Floyd, I ain't fucking know who he was. And I was ready to go to jail. See what I'm saying? I'm down here on the front line in Atlanta when that shit took off. We down here front line turned up. Feel me? So, you know, long as y'all know, it's out there now. That's all I like to do. I like to put it out there because nothing travels faster than word of mouth. So now you should use that to inspire more people to get the message if they wasn't getting it. Like, hold on. This message he came and brought us has to be defined. Because they wouldn't react like that. Out of all the... Think about this too. Out of all the motherfuckers giving lectures on YouTube, me... I ain't even got the boat, the biggest YouTube channel. Hell, Ralph Smart. He had, shout out to Ralph Smart, Infinite Waters. He had like a two million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Dang Callaway be dropping shit, exposing how we motherfucking uh same shit I be saying, but he go a little deeper as far as he just he just stay on that. So I ain't gonna say he go a little deeper, but that's his that's his that's his that's his niche. Letting us know that we ain't coming on no motherfucking ships. Shout out to Dang Callaway. But I'm saying you got him. You got my brother Kali. You got Isis Wisdom. You got a lot of motherfuckers. You got another guy. He coming up named Rail. He be having a lot of shit on TikTok. He follow me. I follow him too. Shout out to Rail. Chosen one. Shout out to Rail. Chosen one. You feel me? Man, shout out to everybody kicking the information. I ain't dissing no motherfucker. I, that ain't who I am. I'm for my people. But what I'm trying to get you to see is, okay, they didn't say nobody else's name. They only said God name. So that's all I'm saying. Now, you, you do the math from there. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Peace to the gods and gods of Planet, of Planet Kai. Now we rise. And shout out to, all, the, shout out to all, the, all of those intellects that I named, those I didn't name, those who got a platform, those that have a small platform coming up, those that don't even have a platform, they just spread it. Shout out to everybody, man. But at the end of the day, we can't keep, like Bar Marley said, man, how long will we sit back and let our prophets, man, get assassinated and... And, and falsely in prison because these motherfuckers scared of the truth. You feel me? Come on, that shit in with us. We the last generation for real, bro. Like, you feel me? They gonna see though. Now we rise. One. I leave as I come.